Pony Star video, and we're going to do our little 100 subscriber special thing. Um, what's special about this is I've just taken some of my favorite decks, and after um, putting them together, I ended up with a really fun deck. Um, my favorite decks of all time are Medulces and Windups, and so I was originally thinking that this is going to be a bad deck. Originally, I was going to try the whole Halloween build, that Trick or Treat deck, based off of Ghost Tricks and Middle Chase, but I just was not liking that as much, so I decided, what's another deck that can spam cards? So I mixed the Windups and the Middle Chase. So, this is the deck list. Three Mess and Delato, three Magdalene, one Kitty, and three Owl for the Middle Chase monsters. One Magician, three Shark, three Rabbit, two Rat for the Windup monsters. I'll go into more explanations after I'm done talking about everything. We've got two Chateau and a Ticket, along with two Factory, and one Tenki. Um, then we've got Dark Hole, Gold Sark, two Pot of Duality, two MST, and a Book of Moon. Trash, we have two Palooza. This card's like the main card of the deck. Um, bottomless, two Mirror Force, uh, one Torrential, one Compulse, one Warning. Extra, we're playing one Zen Mains, one Invoker, one Livier, one Alucard. For level 4s, we've got, or rank 4s, we have Cowboy, Abyss Dweller, uh, Direwolf, Silent Honors Arc, uh, Black Ship, Pappy, 2 Queen, 1 Ragna, and then for 5s, we have Tyrus and Adrius. There are a bunch of cards in here that I was seen by using, like the Trap Sons, all these different cards, another Rat, different extra deck cards, Stinging Double Summon, all these cards. And this is the list I ended up on. Missing Delato is necessary at 3 in this deck. Just at the same time as you kind of need 3 Magdalene, you only need one cat, but I believe I, when messing around with the list, I ended up going up and down with two and stuff. This is just the list that I was currently using on the deck. This is really, really fun, and it works very strangely. Um, the deck focuses on using the windups to gain field presence from the deck, and then you build up hand presence using the middle chase, and then you use all the middle chase using cards like Palooza, and then you just take your opponent completely either by surprise or just overswarm them with cards like the Palooza and the fact that Magician Shark combo is great. So... Without further ado, we'll go into our replays. This one, i just going to put this one first just to show like a basic showing of the deck. This was against just a starter deck, so it's not like I'm going to have the biggest tough challenge facing them. But it was really just to try and show you just basic ideas of what kind of things you're going to get done with this deck. So they set 4.2 million cards back row, and we're just going to start doing silly stuff. Vanish for the messenger, messenger for ticket, activate ticket. Do some attacking, draining shield. Yeah, see, when there's a lot of back row, you don't really know what to expect sometimes, and the draining shield and stuff was really just kind of interesting. When I found out I was facing a starter deck, I was a little disappointed, let's just say, but I wasn't that, per se, worried. This was a very, very simple, straightforward deck. At this point in time, I believe I was only using two Messenger Lotto, and I had actually changed that after this duel. I messed around a lot with it, and it's it's just, it's really fun, silly deck. Um, yeah, obviously this game is going to me because he can't really do anything at all. So, you know, this was just to show you a first little glimpse at the deck before actually, you know, doing anything else. We'll move on to the next one, which was versus Black Wings. Oh man. This deck's funny. It gives you the strangest of good hands and the baddest of great hands, and so, you know, best things to do: search for your, search for your cards to get you combo pieces. Wait on cards like the factory. Have your opponent attack into you and recycle cards, and just, yeah. So this duel was a fun duel. I liked using or facing these decks. Um, yeah, just getting all these effects off all the time. He does Icarus attack for some reason my two monsters, which really didn't make sense to me. He could have done that differently and not lost everything. But whatever. I mean, not not really going to complain because, you know, it is my turn. And this game is looking terrifyingly bad. And I would be screwed under normal situations. But Silent Honor's Arknight is a card. And he makes it so people can win games. We got Pro 500 down there. Drawing for days. Summon Kitty. Special Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake Banish. Messenger. Messenger Search. Invoker. This is a very, very interesting thing. Just showing what this deck can do. 
put two cards back, put that back, get another card, and just go so much plus. And yeah, that's called turning around a game. <laughs> uh, he pulls these cards out of the grave, but it doesn't really change much of anything at all. Um, when you're stuck in a top decking position against this kind of field, there's nothing really you can do. Yeah, he just scooped after that. He couldn't really do anything against my field, so we move on to the Gukia. This deck is fun. I had like so many strange hands and opening with Cat Messenger happens all the time. At this point in time, I don't even care the fact that I got Valored. MST field spell, no big deal. Summons, just Xyz. I was just trying to throw a card in the graveyard for my hoot cake, so that warning really meant nothing to me. Setting the mirror force, using hoot cake to go plus again, getting my ticket, activating ticket, going battle phase, getting owned by the mirror force, goes back to deck. I believe I searched for my, no, oh, Ma Magellan, sorry, because my cat's in the graveyard, remember? I'm only playing one in this version. Um, everybody likes the MST face-up cards, which I guess makes sense sometimes, but I don't know. When there's one face-up and one face-down, I would have generally gone for the face-down. We got that MVP! That Madolce Palooza. So pro. He sets his penis chain. He pretty much just gave me this entirety of a duel just to set cards up. He compulses my first queen, and I Palooza 4.2 million cards. I believe... He scooped. Yes. Because it's difficult to do things. And no matter what, I was going to be able to pull out a queen right away. So, or pull out two queens again. So he couldn't have stopped both of them with the fiendish. We'll go on to this machine thing. I've faced some pretty interesting things. I believe this was just, yeah, machinas. But hey, if this was a tournament and I faced machinas and won, it's still a win. I would have deck thinned using that Gear Gigan X, but to each their own, right? Um, that Venus chain was kind of sad, but it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, yeah, I'm just pretty sure I'm going to get my cards back. That Medulce field spell, though. Field spell and ticket and all this stuff, doing wonderful things. Attacks, goes to grave, comes back to hand. Ticket adds cat, and he attacks, and he attacks. I got world's smallest amount of life points left. Messenger Lotto. Summon cat. Cat. He negates my cat's effect. I use Torrential. That was my whole plan. Was because I was really hoping that he'd negate that effect because then I could Torrential everything. And the fact that he did was just super good. Um, I'm sitting on the world's smallest amount of life points right now. Uh, he summoned that to make an XYZ. I... Don't know if I would have done that in that per se order, but whatever works for everyone, right? And uh, I believe he entered scoop phase. I had my Palooza face down, and so doing 200 damage and not being able to do anything was bad because I had searched that and I was going to just summon a billion things next turn and win. We've got versus the Mythic Rulers. All of these wonderful things. Uh, that's called a sad mill when you mill the only other copy of Card Trooper in your hand and spells and stuff, but, you know. Not gonna complain, because I was doing good. Look at this pro hand. Two factory, a rabbit, I have a magician, or the cat, and the hoot cake, and the shark, and all this wonderful, magical, fun stuff. Though I wish that Medultes were optional. I wish you could just put it in the graveyard and leave it there, because that's where I want it. Rabbit, Special Shark, he changed MST to one of them. Not that that's going to change much of anything. I get the Magician, that goes out of three, and Zen Mains. And Zen Mains works wonders! He buys you all the time in the world. Mill three. And then he's got a lot of cards. At first, I had no idea why he did that. I was really confused. Cat for Hoot Cake, Hoot Cake, Banish, Special, Xyz. It was, it's really nice. Yeah. Being able to just, yeah, I'm gonna summon Queen. Is that alright with you, you know? Is that cool, bro? Put those two cards back. And then, there's that fan again. 
but uh, we're just gonna do some attacking. We've got our field and hand set up for days. He draws his earth dragon thing. I don't really care. I detach, I detach, put those back, put his card back, and he ended up scooping. Next, we've got ourselves pendulum scraps. Pendulum scraps are so pro, right? This is my proof that they suck, but um, yeah. Magellina, getting the hoop skirt, activate, set to their turn. He drew nothing. Look at all that pro plusing. And now I can use Pelusin stuff, and he maxes, and I can summon everything at the same time, and it doesn't really matter. I believe, yeah, I did take, I believe I did take maxi challenge, because simply I did not care on what he could draw. Uh, yeah, having not even, like, caring. I just attack, 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 attack for game. And it didn't even matter. He had seen a, a capability to pendulum summon next turn. Big whoop. Maxi challenge one. And the last one was versus artifacts. Because artifacts are a fun deck to face, right? You know? So, sorry about that fan. I have the mic as far away from the fan as I can get it. Anyways, I've got the Magician Shark combo in my hand. And so, with that extra Magellan, I'm able to just go off. Um, I was not scared of the back row. And then the second he activated that artifact card, I stopped caring about the back row completely because I'm not going to touch it. Um, yeah, let's just say it doesn't really matter to me what he does here. He can do whatever he wants. It was the biggest problem that I couldn't target his cards. That was kind of sad. I did not think about that. Um, but... I wasn't that worried. Volcasaurus negate my own killing, and then, yeah. We got that pro tanky searching for that rabbit, and we got Hoot Cake, Banish, Summon, Search, Set, and just kind of let him go. His turn, he attacks on my card. Um, yeah, I take 21. My turn. This duel, it's like that, that card down there called... Medolce Palooza is definitely so busted. So pro. So queen, put things back, put things back. That, yeah man. Alucard, field spell, scoop. I knew for a fact that if he set a card face down, it was going to be Absorbing Jar. So I went Alucard to pop that card and he scooped because he was not going to be able to do squat and that was just amazing. You're like, wow, that, that that was a horrible deck. Why in the world are you showing us this? It works. Test it out before you think that it's horrible. It's really fun deck. It's just something I was testing around with, and I thought that it'd be a fun thing to do for a little 100 subscriber plus thing. We're also going to, since we have a bunch of it, do like a little Meet the Stars video. We're going to have me, Matt, and Blue do a little video for you explaining like why we're here and stuff. So tell me what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah.